Hey everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's scrapbook layout is one of me as a little girl. So there I am as a little baby, a long time ago. Um, and I was a very happy baby, uh, quite pretty chilled. Yeah, didn't cause too many problems. Um, it's kind of how I am still now. So <laughs> I wanted to do a scrapbook layout that represented me. So I've just chosen some of my acrylic paints and I'm going to create a kind of a rainbow effect. It's not your traditional rainbow in sense of maybe the colours kind of are, but I wanted that effect. So I'm just splodging all of those acrylic paints up the left hand side there. So quite big splodges because I'm going to drag the paint across the page. So yeah, I'm, I haven't done this before. I just had an idea to do it. So um, who knows how it worked out at that point. But um, fortunately, it does end up looking good. So I um, put some copy paper down just to protect the uh, right hand side of when I'm pulling that paint across because there will be some obviously left on the ruler. So you can see now when I drag it, it hits the cross over the green is the cross from the copy paper underneath. But again, it's a mixed media kind of page, so I don't mind that. It's just I've just got some kind of pattern and texture there that I didn't anticipate, but it works. So I went over it twice and um, I'm just cleaning off the excess there. You want to kind of do those things straight away. You don't want to leave that to dry because it's just a pain to get off. So now I'm going to heat set it. I've used a few different brands of acrylic, so they all dry shiny, but some of them took longer than others. But um, I really like how that's kind of come together. Now I'm going to trim it down because I'm still filling that 10 by 10 album. So I trim it to nine and a quarter by nine and a half. Um, I lose the white from the left and the right there. And then I have to take a bit from the left and from the right hand side of the patterned um, ends. Um, because I didn't want to lose the, the bottom right there. So see where the, the kind of the orange has kind of gone a bit speckly and again, the blue at the top. So I take about an inch off because I want to keep that side. And then this, I just trim off where I went over it. So that wasn't, you know, too much of a loss. Now the photo is old, so it's got quite a, a sepia look to it and the frame around it had gone quite yellowy. So I wanted to just cut that off and add a much crisper border. And I tend to border, you know, map most of my photos just to help them lift from the scrapbook layout. So I'm just popping it on some just standard white card. It was just some scrap. And then I'll just get that trimmed down with that one eighth of an inch border around it. So now when I sit that against my layout, it does lift much better. Now I'm adding in some of my quarter inch double sided tape and I'm going to add some foil to that, which you've seen me do this technique many times. It's just a nice way to add some shine to my layout. And also you'll see there those orange splodges. All I've done is splodge some more of the orange that's on the far right there. And I, um, and I just randomly done it and then grabbed a sandwich bag and just went over, put my hands over the sandwich bag and, and kind of moved the acrylic paint around just to create some splodges. I wanted an area, a separate kind of background for the photo. So now I'm just rubbing that foil over the double sided tape and you will feel it start to lift off. So it's, it's such an easy technique, this one. It's really, really handy. It's a nice way, like I said, just to add that shine. And then I'm just gonna go over any sticky bits that I can still feel, and you can just go back over it again until that's kind of all gone. But it's just, it's just fun. And again, like I said, this is kind of mixed media. So I wanted lots of different, you know, materials used, lots of different texture. Um, that's me, it's my personality. So now I'm bringing in some polka dots to go over that kind of orangey splodged area. So this is the uh, Distressed Oxide Worn Lipstick. And I'm just going around there just with, this is a stamping up stencil that I've had just to create something, but it still wasn't enough. So I've brought in my black Versafine Onyx Black. So it's, this is really, you know, really intense, but it's polka dots. So you don't, it does, it looks pretty sinister now, but it, when it comes away, it's not so bad, but it did help again for that photo to just have more of its own area, which is what I wanted. And I've still kept that coral or orange, sorry, far right strip of paint, you know, so you can see that. Now this Happy is from my new toy, which is the Happy Jig, the We Are Memory Keepers, and it's really good. And I'm doing a separate tutorial on that, which is coming soon. And so I just created the word Happy. Now I'm bringing in these Rosie Studio letters and they are spelling out the word mama so my sister who's um, a bit younger than me she could never pronounce my name when she was growing up 
She couldn't say Samantha, so she said Mama. And Mama as now sticks forever. My dad still calls me Mama, so I'm a happy Mama. So that's why I've uh, titled this scrapbook layout. So yeah, bit of fun. Um, now I'm just adding some foam to the back of my photo. Again, I tend to do that with most of my photos. I just like the effect that it gives, um, just to kind of raise it up. So I've got the texture from the metal, I've got those the, the gold strips, I've got the polka dots, I've got the flowers and I bring in more as well. So I just wanted lots going on because again, it's kind of me, it's my personality. So I'm just, I doubled up the blue flowers, so they're in the bottom left there and then the yellow one is going to be in the top right. And the yellow went really well with the yellow strip and the blue went perfectly with the blue strip. So yeah, worked really well. Now, because this is metal, the easiest way to stick it down was using the hot glue. Um, hope, hopefully it will last okay. I'm going to maybe have to look at some other ways to attach those if I keep using them in the future. Maybe some ribbon tied through, through the back of the paper maybe. Um, some more Rosie Studio, so I'm just bringing in some little gold um, words here. So I think I use love, life, smile and happiness. And um, it, I just wanted something to kind of match and tie in with the gold stripes at the bottom of the page. So these ones end up going at the top there and it just kind of balances that with the gold in the happy, the gold in the stripes. Um, yeah, so now I'm just bringing in more gold. So this is the very thick Nouveau drops, the gold glitter. And I just, again, just to kind of tie it together and give it more dimension, more you know, things to kind of touch and feel. There's lots on this page. It's very easy to do, but there's just lots going on. And I do tend to finish all my scrapbook layouts with Nouveau Drops. So there you have it. That is my scrapbook layout for this week. I really, really like this one. Um, I hope you do too. Hope I've inspired you to bring out different materials in your craft room, things that you maybe think you don't know how to bring them and use them. Then try this, it's, it's just really fun. Scrapbooking, there's no right or wrong. You do what you want. It's quite a personal thing. I'm sharing it with you guys, but these are, you know, your memories that you're scrapbooking. So you can do whatever you want. As always, if you've enjoyed today, please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and I will be back again next Sunday with another scrapbook layout. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.